Motorcycle Adventure Dirt Bike TV is proudly supported by Adventure Spec in England, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, and Adventure Moto in Australia. I'd like you to meet Tim, currently the luckiest American in Australia. It's fair to say that Tim's riding style is unbelievably loose. But equally unbelievable is how Tim came to be here. A unique combination of Facebook, beer and a mutual love of the Yamaha WR250R. After seeing Tim getting loose, I'm pretty sure there'll be a few engineers back in Japan scratching their heads as to what he can do with what they designed as a day tripper for the Japanese market. I caught up with Tim fresh off his flight from the United States. How are you going? I'd like to introduce Tim Hollis. Tim! How's it going there? Good mate. Oh, I didn't even know this yet. <laughs> you well, didn't even know I had a camera no. van. It's a bigger camera than I've ever seen. It was quite uh, it was quite surreal to be sitting in the airport this morning going, wow, I'm waiting for a guy I've never met who I contacted on a Facebook page and went, hey, if you get yourself to America, Australia, I'll provide everything else you need and a bike with tennis suspension and a whole heap of adventure motor gear and a bike supplied by Yamaha Australia. And wow, I've never met this guy and uh, I'm hoping he's not an axe murderer, so. Yeah. Greg Yeager, the man that drank too much beer while Facebook stalking, and made it all happen, has taken Tim straight to Technics Motorsport to get Tim's suspension sorted on his brand new Yamaha that he'll be riding in the weekend's Yamaha 250 rally. Yeah, I'm just beyond excited. I feel like I won the motorcycle lottery. You know, I can't thank Greg enough for the opportunity. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to ride. So we're just doing the, the first of a series of tests. I just do some quick live tests to make sure that uh, the shop has the gas pressure in it that it should have, and it's going to be somewhere near our damping targets before we actually do the test. So Madonna just runs through about 13 different test speeds, which is part of our standard testing procedure. So, Dave, I have had a couple of people say before, oh, it's a little bit more expensive to have it done by Nick, or it takes longer, or something like that. What, what I'd like to point out here is it's just come off the dyno now for the third time. So without that dyno, he wouldn't know what the difference is that he's got there. So if you build it, or someone else built it, they could have more damping, less damping, and they really don't know. So the quality control of this is so fine, that Nick's found there's a slight difference. Now, he's going to go make the tiniest of tiniest adjustments that he just made previously, but I couldn't believe that would make that much of a difference. We've seen the difference on the dyno, and this is what he talked about before, that slight difference. That's the first test we ran. So in red is the first test we ran, where we're making a little bit too much dampening all over. Then the second test we ran was in green, where we're still a little high. And this third one we're doing now live, which is in blue, we are a little bit under where we should be, but that's okay because uh, it, the shock is a little bit too hot. So if it's a little bit too hot, we've lost a bit more dampening, which is fine. So we're, we're now finished. We've, we've done it. Um, I'm quite happy with how this one now tests. Uh, it's only the third time. And when people say, why does my shock take so bloody long to do? It's because we don't just assemble it and punt it out the door. If it's not right, then it comes apart again. There you are, and it's even warm. Oh, wee. All right, thank you. Now, um, did we tell him we weren't giving him a bike, or we're just yeah, giving him it's suspension? It's he's going on a moped, right? Yeah, yeah. Moped. yeah, this is just a setup. Yeah. When I got here, when I first walked into Adventure Moto and saw the, the shop here and all the blue, it's kind of WR, heaven in here, Yamaha heaven. And uh, when I went back and saw the brand new bike there with all, all the parts and everything, um, just kind of overwhelming. I, did, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and this is just kind of blown, blown me away. Yeah. Well, mate, there's it, all your stuff, you've seen it there. So if you take that, uh, that. This is all I need. And that, 
and we're going in about, we're living in about 25 minutes, right? So, can you just get into it? Okay. Well, um, don't right. look so confused, mate. It's not that hard. Oh, I'm good. No, I, good? I think so. Yeah. Thanks. No I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, about 20 minutes. Okay. <laughs> so where's your ball? One day before the start of the Yamaha WR250 rally, and the boys took Tim for a shakedown ride to give him a little time to settle into his brand new tricked up 250. Shakedown was a success and the boys headed home for some beer, Facebook and bench racing. One more sleep until the rally begins. We are set to go on the WR250R rally in 2018. As you can see from last year, the numbers have pretty much doubled. We've got riders come up from Melbourne, they did a four day ride to get here. We've got a guest rider from the US, Tim Hollis. And the event's just getting bigger and better all the time. So I'm um, stoked to be part of it and can't wait to get on the ride. Hey Dave, how are you going? Bigger than better than ever last year, 60 bikes this year Dave. Probably a maximum. So next year probably the will only be 60 bikes. So what we'll probably do next year will be first and best dress. Be aware of that. Lots of sea and Yamaha's. There's 10,000 people watching you. He's up. Look at the carnage here, look at the traffic jam. Oh, he's got a crust up. Oh, he's come off right in front of me. It's alright mate, it's all part of the action. Um, Queensland Banana Bender Ninja, here we go. Go, go! Come on, get that baby going. Come on, get on the seat, put your bum on the seat. Just put it down, put your bum on the seat. And squash, drop the bike. That's it. Oh, oh. 
Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. You've been got in slow motion, stills. Oh, thousand frames a second. second. You've been done. Ultra HD 4K. There's no bench racing with that. We know exactly what's happened. That was a good effort. <laughs> Don't want to strip the uh, front sprocket out again. You did all right. But you nearly went over the handlebars frontwards. So I was pretty impressed. Yeah, I'm going to get up. You got to sit on it. You got to sit on it. Give it another go. You just did your wheel stand at the wrong time. Just do your wheel stand at the top of there and then I'll lift you over. Hit it like a magnet! Go! Go, you gotta hook up! Go, 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 go! Well done! Look, we'll give you a hand. So how did this Mad Max scene work? So if you, may, if you do remember in the scene when they pulled up in one of the little townships and uh, the head of the bikies lined them all up and backed them into the, uh, into the street there, wound them all up, got them revved the crap out of their bikes, then they shut it off and went in and took over the town. So we're sort of doing a bit of a reverse order on this all one. Alright, so we're leaving the town we're after buying our twisties and milkshakes. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, nothing hardcore here. And then we'll um, then we'll wind them up, and right. then they can kick us out of the town, and we'll be on our way. Okay, so you're going to be out the front with a wig on. <laughs> if I can find one, I'll get one out there and put my scruffy, bikey wig on. Yeah, that would probably do the job. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Today. Bloody brilliant. Good weather, good riding, no offs. <laughs> That's what you like to see. I saw a lot of people come off today, but not too not not at much speed. I think I might have put a bit of mud in some people's faces as well. Yeah, oh well don't admit to that on, on. <laughs> How's it going? It's going good. I'm just I feel like a jello a piece of jello in my whole body. <laughs> a lot of activity yesterday. Yeah, it's been so much riding, you know. Day number four, I'm just trying to survive and get through the day. Down here if you're riding, right. please. You ready to go? Absolutely. Bring it on. It a good day yesterday. <laughs> Had a fabulous day yesterday. Excellent. Well done. Looking forward to today. Oh, I can't wait. First ride at ADV Rally. Absolutely loving it. Got to be massive. Oh, look at the blue crew. They're out in force today. Hey mate, ready to ride? Yeah, ready to ride. Mate, I've been admiring your helmet for two days. <laughs> Thanks, Love mate. it. Patriotism at its finest. Yes, I, I, <laughs> I need to get something like that. <laughs> so yeah, it's day two. What a great bunch of people. Awesome trails. The bikes have been brilliant. The weather's been good. And just solid gold people to hang out with on our weekend. So, wr 50 r rally. Long may it continue. Gentlemen, how are you enjoying it? Oh, it's great fun. Clean, breaking my bike, it's the best. Loving it, loving it. 
you like it, Brendan? Love it, man. Having, having a blast. Got to get more in the dirt. I've only got a. I'm not dirty enough, I think. I've only got a thousand k ride home tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> Game. Okay, so which one's broken? That guy is completely snapped oh. in half. Do the thing again. No, let's not. <laughs> no. Okay, we're gonna come make it along straight, here. You know, we're gonna come along here like that. Okay, now can you bring that together? Let's bring it together. That's it. Now I'm just doing this loose. All right, but we'll keep doing it, and we'll just make so, it. Nice. So what had happened okay. was Pete and I were pushing real hard. We passed just about everyone in the pack. And I got to a comfortable pace and I was mobbing and then all of a sudden I had a 450 on my tail. So I was pushing it, you know, because I wanted to see how well the WR250R would do against the, the 450 on the trail here. So up there, um, I just was going way too fast. I was about fourth gear tapped. Um, didn't clear the, the bottom roller here. Completely bottomed out both ends of the bike as hard as they possibly could. I probably got bucked a good, I don't know, 40 feet. You did, and you hit that tree over there. If we just focus in on this tree, you've taken a fair bit of the bark off it. That, that tree is 35 meters from yeah. where he hit. I think I got kicked from about there, airborne until somewhere around here, landed. Uh, well, I don't know if I really landed, but I did a couple <laughs> front flips, landed on my feet, of all things. You got up like a cat. Got up in about a millisecond, and I was fine until I realized that I snapped my pinky in half. I was following Tim. We came up off this, I don't know, the top rise, and if you hit it fast enough, you'd probably be able to double jump it. Unfortunately, he backed a little bit at the top, so he didn't make it. So he's cased on the lander, and that sent the bike in the air. And so he's a bit sideways in the air at this time. And as he landed, he landed completely sideways. So the bike dug in and then flipped long ways, not front over back. <laughs> it went sideways flipping off the track and it's hit this tree here. Come and show me the tree. If you can see that tree and, and that bark, you could probably make a canoe out of that. <laughs> Look at how <laughs> It's actually hard. fairly thick, That's isn't a, it? The Aboriginals used to make dishes like that, Tim. Well, Look and you've done that in I one go. Like that tree there, yeah. you know? And then before it was over, before, it, before the scene had actually, the dust had settled, he was on his feet walking over to me going, man, I'm right, I'm right. And then he started thinking and he goes, no, I think I've busted this and <laughs> <laughs> hats off to him. He was trying good, he was going well. Well done, Tim. Thank you, guys. Now remember this trial, it's called Yengo Trial, Y-E-N-G-O. I'll never forget it, that's for sure. That's the most wicked accident I've ever had in my life, so. So, let's just come back a bit. So, we've got a hole in a tree. Where's the hole in the motorbike? No, I think it might have hit with the bottom of the bike, maybe. I don't know, have a the look. The bottom of the bike. I don't know how this bike isn't snapping too. Oh, there. Is there? Oh, there it's hit. It's hit with the bash plate. There's some, it's something chunky. There is liquid there, what's that? Yeah. It's all right. Well, yeah. They breed these Yamahas tough. So he wanted to make a canoe in Australia with a Yamaha and he nearly succeeded. Oh, and the tank. Oh, no. No. All in all, I think the finger ain't too bad. Hang on a minute, Locky. Locky, hang on a minute. Did I see? Yeah. Hey. We threw everything at him. Tim. It turned out to be Yango that broke him. I definitely have some other sprain fingers, but none of them are broken <laughs> like that. Pink he is. Man. Well, the sounds of that prang, mate. I'm lucky you got a hat, head. <laughs> Uh, that Come Chris, on, those two guys on the 450s are, are world motorcycle champions. We forgot to tell you that Who bit. Is? <laughs> that no, Chris Watson. I'm not Watson. Is. I just ride with them. Wow. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna keep up with them so I can take the photos. At least everybody can see now. I do crash. People. <laughs> There's no pies in the sausage You look like a little rabbit. You got a tiny bit of dust on the top of your nose. Can you go film with the lady inside? Hey.
<laughs> Look, I got a go. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, double entrance from last year. Uh, everyone had a great time. Great, for a great show. And uh, quite proud of our shop. Chris Watts and Motorcycles can help out. And uh, we had a good day today riding. And uh, back next year. Mate, thanks very much. It was great, Chris. See ya.